Hello, and welcome back. Today video I'm going to show you how to create the water ripple effect from static image in After Effects. And here are a few samples effects. Before going on, I would like to share you some tips about this effect. From my experience, this effect is working best for the images with flat water surface, and images with the slight water ripples or water waves on its surface. Now, let's start doing. First, I open After Effects from my computer and start a new project from scratch. Then I use combined keys, Ctrl Shift S, to save this new project to my computer as name, Water Ripple Effect Tutorial. But you can save it as any name you want to. Next, I import the image that I want to create the water ripple effect. I just drag and drop the image file from my computer into the After Effects project window panel. I also drop the download links of the images in the description section of this video if you want to download them to practice with. Next step, I right mouse click within the project panel and select New Composition to create a new composition. From the Composition Settings window, I enter Ripple Effect for composition name. In the Basic Settings tab, I pick the option HDTV 1080 29.97 for the preset. I also check the option checkbox, Lock Aspect Ratio to 16 to 9, in order to maintain that ratio for this composition. At the Frame Rate, I pick 30 frames per seconds. And at the Duration, I always set to 30 seconds for demonstration purpose. But you can set to anything depends on the length of your video. For the Background Color, I leave as black. Then hit OK to create new composition. There's a new composition named Ripple Effect has been created from the project panel. And it also opened up from the Timeline panel. Next step, I drag the image from the project panel and drop it into the Ripple Effect layer control panel. And instantly, the image shows up on the Ripple Effects composition window. Before adding the effect, let pre-compose this image first. Right-click on the image layer and select Pre-Compose. Then from the Pre-Compose pop-out window, I name it Water Comp for new composition name and simply hit OK to create a composition of the image. Now, go to the Presets and Effects panel and look for Turbulent Displace effect. Then drag and drop the Turbulent Displace over the Water Comp layer to apply the effect. From the Water Comp's Effect Controls panel, Hold the Alt key and click the stopwatch icon in front of the evolution setting. At expression box from the timeline, just delete the current expression and input a new one. I enter time multiply by 150 and hit small enter key. OK, let's hit space key to run preview. It's working, but in order to, to have the effect look naturally like real water ripple, I have to tweak the other settings in the water comps effect controls. It took me a while to test and run to get to the result. To make this video short and concise, I only show you the settings result, and here's what I've done. On the Turbulent Displace settings, I chose Bulge for Displacement. On the Amount, change it value to 10. The Size, change it value to 30. The Complexity, change it value to 2. Go below, at the Evolution options, I chose Pin Horizontal for Pinning and select high for anti-aliasing for best quality. Those settings above I made for your reference. You may change and tweak the turbulent displace settings to anything as you like until happy with your effects. I just give you the idea and you should make your own destination. Now, hit space key again to run preview the new settings. I'm okay with this effect. If you want to slow down, or faster the ripple effect speed, you can go to the evolution expression and change the number to something you want. From the preview screen, you can see that the whole image is rippling. But our purpose only want the water part ripple. Now let hide the ripple mountain away by using the mask feature to cover it with a static image. Move mouse to select the water comp layer. Use combined key, control D, to duplicate this layer. Then I rename the selected layer as Mountain Comp, and also remove the Turbulent Displace effect from the Mountain Comp layer. Keep selecting the Mountain Comp layer. I choose the Pen tool from the toolbar and start drawing a mask around the mountain part of the image. I recommend zoom in and out the image, and also use the Hand tool to drag the image while drawing in order to have a better view. 
At this part, it requires some work and patience to get to perfect. You should draw the mask a little farther outside from the screen to make sure it completely overlapped the image part you want to hide. And the end point must be closed at the start point to have the mask working, like the way I'm doing here. Okay, now I'm done drawing the mask to cover the whole mountain part. I'm going to go back to the full size view. From the ripple effects composition window, I hover to magnification ratio option and select fit up to 100%. Next, I will create another mask for the two boats floating on the water surface. I duplicate the water comp layer again, and rename the selected layer as boats comp. Then remove the turbulent displace effect from the boats comp. While the boats comp is selected, I use the pen tool to draw a mask around the boats. There are many curves while drawing mask for the boats. In order to create the bendable points with the pen tool, you need to click and hold for at least one second before release. Take your time to draw until having a perfect mask that fits your image part. Now, I will speed up to the end result. And this is the finished masking for the boats. But there's one more thing to do to make the boats look like undulating with the ripple water. Select the boats comp layer. Then press P key to open the position setting. Hold Alt key and click the stopwatch icon next to the position setting. Then type into the expression box, wiggle, open round bracket, 0.5, comma, 3, close round bracket. Then hit small enter key to exit. OK, let run preview to see the result. For a smooth effect, I need to adjust the mask settings of the mountain comp and boats comp. Click on the arrows of Mountain Comp and the masks inside it to open the Mask 1 settings. Then within the Mask 1, I change Mask Expansion to 20 pixels and change Mask Feature to 60 pixels. Keep doing the same thing for the Mask 1 settings of the Boats Comp layer. Change the Mask Expansion to 20 pixels and the Mask Feature to 60 pixels. And that's all done. Now, let play the result video of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.